Hello? Hello? Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. So, how are you, Huli? I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. So, how was your vacation? What? How was your vacation? Yes. yes. Did you enjoy your vacation? Yes. Okay, that's great to hear. Now, um, the last, uh, we didn't have class last week, uh, last Sunday, because I, it's, I'm having a problem with the electricity. It was a blackout, so that's why. Now, this time, we are going to continue our lesson last Saturday. And this is a reading material. It's about from the past, okay? Because we didn't finish this. But before we proceed, we, I want us to have a recap, okay? Because there are some questions about, about this topic later, okay? Okay. Okay, lesson one from the past, the fourth model two. Okay, can you read the words that you see? Right? I, can, I can see. Oh, you can see. Wait, 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 I'm going to share again. Okay, what about now? Can you see it? Yes. All right, that's great. Now, can you read the word? It's a thought. Right. Number two. Number two is car maker. Car maker or car maker, silent R. Car maker. Car maker. Done. The young. Crown. Crown. Method. Method. Bell. Interchangeable. Interchangeable. Okay, that's nice. So this time, Lori, we are going to read a story about... Oh, no, no, there's, there are more words. Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, can you read the word? Handmade. Planet. Vehicle. Vehicle. Drop. Drop. Production. Production. Wages. Wages. Industry. Industry. Factory. Factory. Valuable. Valuable. Okay, that's I'm going to read the story of the Ford Model T, okay? I'm going to read the first paragraph. So listen carefully because you are going to answer some questions about it later. Now, Henry Ford decided to build a family car that working people could afford. His company first built the Model T in 1908. Like other new car makers, Ford had made cars for the rich, selling as high as $2,800. This was well beyond the money a regular American family could afford to pay for a car. The Model T was different. It was the first car that middle-class families could afford to buy. In 1908, it was priced at $825. However, by 1924, the Model T sold for only $260. Okay, now, to build a family car. I can't hear you.
Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I have a question for you. Who decided to take a car in the middle class? Can you, can you say again? Who decided to build a car for the middle class the working people? Mm. Who decided to build a car for the middle class family? Henry Ford is to buy friendly car that working people could afford. It's Henry Ford. Okay, that's right. Now, um, what is the price of the Model T in 1908? Mm. Uh, what is the price? Is two thousand. Eighty, eight hundred. What is the price of the model? Is eight hundred twenty five. Two hundred sixty. Okay, two hundred sixty dollars. Now, this time, then, you want to open to your Read the story. Mm. I read that. Yeah. The model T weighed one thousand two hundred pounds. It carried a ten gallon gas tank and it had to be cranked to start the and Engine for so fifteen million model T is between uh two between uh nineteen nineteen eight and nineteen twenty seven. Fort Ray's success was based on his use of special methods from whom each worker placed just one part on each car car the car traveled along a moving belt with just one job for each factory worker this was very different from the handmade car boot in her early early one hundred nineteen nineteen hundred as Ford also used 
interchangeable parts. This means that any engine or well, for example, fit on any vehicle. Okay, that's nice. Now, the, I have underlined three words for you, okay? These are the words that you mispronounce while you are reading the story. Now, please repeat after me. This is read as cranked. 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 Okay. And this one is success. 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 Nice. One more time. Success. Success. Okay. Nice. Um, the last one is Bill. Milk. Bill. Bill. Okay, that's correct, Fui. Now, since you are the one who made the story, I want to ask you, what do, what do you mean by interchangeable parts? Or interchangeable? What do you mean by interchangeable? Interchange, uh, interchangeable. Uh, it's mean... Interchangeable parts. What what the meaning? Uh, you read it. You're the one reading the story. Because it is important that if you read, it is important that you understand also what you are reading. That's why I ask you some questions to test if you really understand what you are reading, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so what do you mean by interchangeable? It is In the, mm -hmm, Okay. Interchangeable. Interchangeable is... Uh, Is a uh, we can we, we can we for who change uh it's in the story it, you can read your answer in the story. This means that any engine of wells, for example, fit on any vehicle. Yes, that's correct. That's what that is the meaning of interchangeable. Now, um, let's proceed to the next part. Okay. Here, the model Ford Model 3 last part. The prices of Ford's Model 3 dropped. And because of his less costly methods of production, he raised the weight of his engine. The lowest weight doubled to five dollars a day. The higher pay pushed up pay throughout many industries. This allowed workers in many factories to be able to afford to buy the Model T. Uh, Ford changed millions of lives with part and a single idea. So, what ideas do you have? They may be just valuable. Okay, I want you to read the story, Hui. Mm. The price of Ford Model T dropped because of his less costly methods of production. He raised his worker weight, their lowest. Weight double to five dollar a day. The higher pay push up pay grow out many in industries. This allowed workers in many factories to be able to afford to buy the Model T for chain millions of leads with a single car and a single idea. What ideas do 
do you have they may they may be just as as valuable okay that's nice now what is the uh, what is the wage of or the salary of the workers mm. what is the salary or the wage of the workers Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. what are what is the wage? What are the wages of the factory workers? Or what about the salary? How much is their salary? Is five dollars. Five dollars? Yes. Okay, good job. Very good, Rui. Now, um, do you think Ford um is uh why that why did okay um, why did the workers or um oh wait I'm going to say it um okay that's okay I will reserve my question in the next part okay. But this time, let us have this structure, okay? Decide too, okay? And then you're going to add the verb. Example, I decide to go to university this year. So what about you, Hui? What did you decide? I want you to give me an example. No. I decide to go. Can you give me an example? I decide to go to university this year. So, uh, what about you? What? Can you give me an example using I decide to and then you're going to add the verb. Look at the example. I decided to go to uh, um, my uh, go to Singapore last year. Oh no. <laughs> if you're going to say I decide to Okay, you will not use last year because last year is in the past. So what are you go what you are going to decide is what you are going to do in the future or later. Okay, not last year. Okay, so can you can you give me another uh can you give me another example? Example decide. I decided. Mm, I decided to go to school. All right, that's nice. That's it. That's a sentence already. I decided to go to school. Okay, that's correct. Now, let's proceed to the next slide. Next, be able to. Uh, he is able is, to help to study in English. So what about I? I he, I am able. I am able to have my cousin mm -hmm. play 
play foot play football. Now, this time, Hoy will proceed to the next slide. Okay, here's the question number one. Which of these following was a special job in the factory making the Model T? Okay, I'll give you time to answer that question. Uh. And read your answer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is it difficult, Toy? What's your answer for number one? Is it B? <laughs> okay, can you read the letter B? Is both B and C? Yes, that's right. I want you to read your answer, Hui. Placing a left wells on an I I mm -hmm. tightening a nut on a well. Okay, good job. Now, next, let's proceed to question number two. Your answer is correct, both B and C. Now, how many days? Okay. Wait. Wait, what happened? Okay. How many days would a worker have to work to afford the cheapest model T? Because their salary is five dollars, right? Uh, so, how many days should they work in order to afford the model T? You see, what 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 is the letter C? C is uh, 52. Okay. Hoy, can you, do, I, can you multiply? 52 times um, 52 times 5. What's the answer? What? 52 times 5. 50. 52 times 5. Times 5. Mm, yes. What's the answer? <laughs> you see? 
Yes, your answer is letter C, that's 52, okay? So, the salary of the workers is $5. So, I want you to multiply it. $5, a 5 times 52. What is the answer? Multiply it, 52 times 5. Multiply it. Do you have a calculator in your PC? Mm. 52 times 5. Is 52 times 5 is... Uh, What is the answer? Mm. It? Is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, 52 times Five because the salary is five dollars, right? So they need to work for fifty-two days in order to buy the Model T, which is priced for two hundred fifty. Okay, so if you're going to times or multiply fifty-two days, okay, it's the days number of days that they should work. Days would worker have to work times five if your salary okay because their salary is five dollars a day the answer is 250 so therefore in order to buy the model t car they need to work for 52 days so that they can buy the car okay okay all right now let's proceed to question number three which of these is an accomplishment of Henry Ford? Which of these accomplishment? Is uh, cutting was in the auto industry. It's cutting wages. Did Henry Ford cut the wages? <laughs> in the story, Henry Ford raised. Okay, it's both A and C. Um, he creates an ex an, an expensive car and he raised the wages in the auto industry. That's why the correct answer is letter D. That is the accomplishment of Henry Ford. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Question number four. Which of these facts would be relevant to the passage? Is uh Can you read the choices from A, A, B, and C? Many business owners were angry when Ford raised well. The Model T came is both car and truck stars. Mm -hmm. Women often cried 
the model T to get in stock. Okay. Again, the boy, this is Crown. Okay. Crown. And this is. Can you repeat? Crown. Crown. Okay, remember that. Okay, now let's proceed to question number five. When was Model T first built? When was the Model T first built? This time there are no choices, Hui. So you need to answer. In 1908. All right, in 19. Oh, eight. That's great. Next question. How many Model T's were sold between 1908 and 1927? It's uh, 15 million. 15. Right. 15 million. That's great. Now, question number six. What is interchangeable parts? Okay, I already asked this to you a while ago. Interchangeable part. It means that any engine of well, for example, fit on any vehicle. That's right. Okay, very good. Now, question number seven. Why did the prices of Ford's Model T drop? It is still in the passage. Why did the price of Ford Model drop? Because of his less costly methods of production. Mostly methods of production that's correct. Now, what is the lowest weight for his workers per day? Talk about this. What is the wage or the lowest wage for his workers per day? Uh, is two five dollars. Okay, five dollars is correct. Now, next question. What is the weight of the model T? The way is uh, no way. Is the weight of the Model T? The weight is uh, one thousand two hundred 
pounds. Again, again, can you say it again, Hui? The model three, weight. And 1,200 pounds. Yes, that's correct. Okay, question number 10. Why the model T was different? Mm. The model different is the T. Because the handle, the hand mark carved by in the early 1900s. Okay, let's check if your answer is correct. So, why the Model T was different? It's because it was the first car that middle class families could afford to buy. That makes the Model T different. Okay? <laughs> okay, Hui, it is really important that you understand what you are reading. So, that's why... We need to focus on the reading material, okay? Because you are doing a great job in the listening and also in the speaking. But I still want to, I still want you to learn speaking because um, I want to test if you improve your grammar, okay? And your pronunciation. Now, this time, I want you to read again the story, okay? I will not open another material because we only have um, six, oh no, six minutes left. So I want to, I want you to read again the story. Here. Okay, please read the story. And I will underline mispronounced words that you said, okay? Okay. All right. Now you can start. Um, the and Henry Ford decided to you to buy to bounce a family car that working people could afford. His company first bought the Model T in, in 1908, like all the new Kamaker. Ford had made car for the rich selling as high as 2,800. This was well beyond the money a regular American family could afford to pay for a car. The Model T was different. It was the first car that middle class families could afford to buy. In 1908 is what price uh, at a oh, no, no, 825. However, by 1924, the Model T sold for only 260. The Model T weighed 1,200 pounds. It carried a 10 gallon gas tank and it had to be cranked to start the engine. Ford sold 15 million Model T S between 
1927 Fort Great suggest what based on his use of facial method where card worker worker place just one part on one part on each car. The car travel along a moving belt, belt with just one job for each factory worker. This was very different from the handmade car carpet in the early nineteen hundred s Ford also used interchangeable parts. This means that any engine of well for for example fit on any vehicle. The price of Ford Model T dropped because of his less costly methods of production. He rise in his worker way the loud way double to five dollar a day the higher papers up pay throughout many industries. This allow worker in many factories to be able to afford by the model T for change million a life of life with with a single car and a single idea. What idea do you have? They may be just as valuable. All right, that's nice, boy. As you can see, I I underlined five words. Okay, this that means you mispronounce five words only. Okay, that's nice. Now I want you to repeat after me. Okay, this is. Build. Build. Repeat after me. Build. Build. One more time. Build. Build. Okay. Don't forget. This is crown. Build. Not crown set. Crown. Crown. Okay, raise. 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 Lowest. 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 Then industries. Industry. Okay, now that's nice, Hui. Okay, this time I will be focusing on your pronunciation, okay? So don't be angry if I'm going to let you repeat the words because that is for you because I want to help you, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. So did you understand the story of the Model T? Did you understand what you are reading, the Model T? The Ford Model T, did you understand it, the, uh, the story? Mm, a little. A little, okay. White. That's good. Yes, that's great. So, um, um, you need to read uh, carefully so that you will understand what you are reading. So, that is important because it is important that you understand what you are reading. Okay, remember that. All right, so. Um, we are done with our class today, Hoy. I'll see you again tomorrow, okay? okay? And tomorrow, we will be using a writing material. All right? Okay, Hoy, goodbye for now. I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.